In this video, we'll look at the setup of a local area network for your CCTV camera system to be viewed on computers. But our focus in this particular video is on routers. We'll look at the role of a router in a local area network of CCTV cameras and as to whether or not a network switch can be used to replace a router. In this particular setup, I have connected the camera here to the network switch through this network cable and through this ash network cable as well i've also connected my computer to that same network switch on which the camera is connected apart from the camera which is connected here and then the computer which is also connected here i have as well connected a cable from the network switch into a router which is also here and you can see the router on and that is the setup that has resulted in the view of the cameras on the computer as you can see so what is actually the role of the router in this setup for two devices like the camera and the computer to communicate they must be on the same local area network by that in simple terms being on the same local area network means that the first three digits of the ip address must be the same but the camera cannot lend itself to be assigned an ip address unless it acquires an automatic ip address from devices like a router so to be able to put the camera and the computer on the same local area network the router automatically assigns the IP address to the camera and also automatically assign an IP address to the computer as well. And how do I know that they have acquired the same local area network IP address? Follow me, let me explain from the computer. So on the taskbar, we'll type in cmd which is supposed to be command prompt so open up command prompt and once the command prompt window opens we'll type in ip config and we'll press enter from the keyboard now when you look at this point where we have ipv4 address you will realize that the IPv4 address, which is the IP address of the computer, is 192.168.0.103. And when you come down to default gateway, which is supposed to be the IP address of the router of the network on which the computer is connected, the default gateway here is 192.168. Dot zero dot one. And as I mentioned earlier on, to have a local area network for two devices to communicate, the two devices should have the first three digits of their IP addresses the same. And when you look at the first three digits of the IP addresses of the, uh, the computer and the router, 192 is the same for the router. The 168 is also the same for the, the router, that is between the computer and the router. The 0 and the 0, they are the same. So it means that the router and the computer are on the same local area network. The last figure, which is 103 for the computer and 1 for the router, is the unique identity of the computer and the router respectively. The computer acquired its IP address from the router because the router is what is generating the automatic IP addresses for the devices that are connected to the router. So to further confirm that the 192.168.0.1 is the IP address of the router, what we can do is that we can open up a browser and enter the 192 dot one six eight dot zero that is dot zero dot one it's supposed to be dot one 
when we press enter it takes us to the interface of the router the router is a d-link router but what i want to confirm is that to ensure that we are sure that the router's ip address is the 192.168.0.1 now when we go to the vms as well under device management when you look at the ip address the ip camera that is on the network as you can see down here you realize that it also has the ip address 192.168.0.101 the rest of the figures there are the device port of the ip camera so it means that it also has the first three digits of its ip address also same as that of the router it's also acquired from the router so it means that the router has successfully assigned IP addresses to establish the basis for which the camera and the computer can communicate. So that is the reason why when you come to the video section, you'll be able to see the camera or the camera's videos on the computer because they are all on the same local area network. And all those IP addresses have been assigned by the router or they have been acquired automatically as assigned by the router. So that is the function of a router in the local area network.